Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep back at it again and today we are here uh, Actually now that I'm recording it's still the first week we've, we've got the Supreme King in Jaden So I do not know if we will have any mini box or some other support for our evil heroes And this video should be out a week later um, Then than when I'm recording so keep in mind that so this is as you uh, may have seen from the thumbnail this is a hybrid version with red eyes so um, for the uh, for all the boys that actually uh, follow me are following me since a long time um, they can remember that I didn't have the red eye structure I didn't buy it but Last night, I actually saw the red eye structure that was only 2 euros. It was 1.99 euros. And I said, What the? I had to buy it. And so I did. The second copy was just 3.99, so with just 6 euros, a little less than that, I just uh, brought home. A couple of red eyes fusion so he, so here I am with this hybrid version but before jumping right into it guys just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot let's jump right into it so here with the Supreme King Jaden and the skill is Supreme King's Castle Revelation so easy uh, an easy skill you have to reveal a polymerization or a fusion a normal fusion spell card uh, like this one and you get to play from outside your deck the um, field spell of the Supreme King Jaden Supreme King's Castle that basically allows you to have a big boost for your fiend monster by sending a, a Hagel hero monster from your hex deck to the grave and then you can summon also your Hello Hero or, or all the monsters that requires Dark Fusion with cards other than Dark Fusion and Dark Calling also. So that's the thing and this is uh, what the deck looks like. So um, of course we've got as I told you guys a couple of Red Eyes Fusion right here so consequently we play 3 Red Eyes inside. Um, that can either add the red eyes fusion or the return of the red eyes um, then we got a bunch of staple triple finish chain just you know to deal with that annoying uh, Levianir but not with um, but not only with that and necro fusion will be the card that allows us to access to all our extra deck because with necro fusion we can go into another red eyes last dragon or we can go into all the other guys right here we can go into dark cavalry because we play a dark the dark exile fusion alongside the hero uh, warrior type monster in this case and then we got the inferno wing avian plus dark the dark exile fusion um, then we've got malicious fiend the X seal fusion plus red eyes arch fiend of lightning or a an, an evil hero if it's already in the grave and last but not least uh, evil hero wild cyclone and we got the guys right here wild art and heaven but of course we can just banish wild art and the substitute material or avian and substitute material as well uh, last but not least, we got a couple, of course, of Red Dice Black Dragon um, as, of course, the main fuel for our Red Dice Slash Dragon and the uh, Red Dice Arch Fiend of Lightning, an easy uh, target to summon with our Return of Red Dice. If you play Red Dice, you already know how this works and, uh, you know, guys, how spicy this guy is because you have to summon um, one, uh, one more time compared to the normal summons. Uh, to the normal monster because it is a Gemini but when you do it against a pretty cool effect it's a non-targeting destruction insane power because you can destroy all the monster your opponent control that have a defense lower than this card attack so pretty good and guys that was all you of course you, you can see a lot of red eye slash but and uh, some pretty cool um, combos with the hell hero summon it with necrofusion um, and of course, as you know, Necrofusion plus Malicious Fiend in your opponent's battle phase simply means SPICE! So guys, that was all for the explanation and we can jump right into the replays. Here we go, boys, first replay. Let's see what we got. 
so uh, the red dice inside to begin with so pretty nice we have access to red dice fusion sending the archfiend lightning then uh, using the skill for for the supreme king's castle and the red dice slash dragon is here sending the wild dart so, setting the heavy on and we got the finish chain so we're chilling it's a thunder dragon deck so dragon arc to summon the um, Dragon Dark and then getting rid of my set card, it's fine. I mean, Necrofusion, perfect pick. We could swing in and uh, using the Wild Art as an equip spell, as an equip card actually. Now we got, remember guys, that the Slash Dragon has a free negation whenever he is equipped by sending an equip card to the grave, so pretty nice. Uh, he's got the main combo with the Luf Lupine, banishing the Dragon Dark and the, the Dragon Dark and the Dragon Roar. So, uh, in, uh, a rank 6 Xyz is coming on the field and is a force focus actually, but it's fine I guess. Um, then I summon it, I set my uh, Axial Fusion um, uh, just because I actually wanted this to be in the grave. So, I hope he attacks that. He has another Luflupai with the same combo once again. So, uh, but this time he's got a couple of Luflupai on the field. Let's see if he's gonna go into an Xyz level, uh, rank 4. There you go, Malevolence in hit the field. Then, uh, Dragon Duo Summon using the Dragon Oka Factor to shuffle cards from his hand back to the deck and draw the same number. Then, he sent to the grave the Dark Axial Fusion, and here comes the Spice, Necrofusion banishing the um, banishing the Dark Axial Fusion that counts as Malicious Edge, and banishing the Archfiend of Lightning that counts instead as the uh, uh, the Fiend, the level 6 Fiend's monster, and Malicious Fiend in the battle phase now, Every monster has to be in attack position, he has to attack, and he just lost with the first one because I used, it. I used the boost, the field spell boost, and that's how you do it. Second duel against ODN. Let's see what we got. Triple set and a set monster. Kinda tough right now. So red dice inside to begin with, and then... Um, perfect, of course, right this Red Eyes Fusion to send the Wild Dart. Then we've got also the uh, Return of Red Eyes Trap card, so we're chilling. He's got Floodgate, okay, I guess. And I decided just to set the Heavy, and I think this is Spectra's World, of course. So it's fine. I attributed those to go into the um, Red Eyes Dark, uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and then he floodgated that, so he had to uh, activate the Return of the Red Eyes in response because this can be activated only when you have a Red Eyes monster, if you control Red Eyes monster. So before he gets uh, face down, I activate the effect and summon back to the field the Archfiend of Lightning. So setting the Necrofusion, attacking, but it's got my Ballista Squad to get rid of the Archfiend of Lightning. We're still chilling. Then the perfect pick, the only card I couldn't stop with Finish Chain. Shiranui Solitaire, so he's good with all this stuff right here. Spectra's board banishing the Solitaire and himself to go into the uh, Zombie Skull and attacking the Red, the red Eyes uh, the Black Dragon, then Necrofusion in the end phase into Red Eyes slash Dragon. Red and Red Eyes as well in the end phase, and we've got all, the, all we need. Then I summon him and, you know, to use the effect, and then soon I, as soon as I did it, he uses Needle Ceiling. Now I misplayed because I could have chained the finish chain to this so that he had lose, uh, so that he lost all these monsters as well, but I didn't. Uh, I got another Necrofusion, so I'm still alive. He, um, he went all in, but my Necrofusion says no thank you. Another Red Eye Slash again, Red Room of the Red Eyes again, <laughs> and then we've got. Uh, this time the effect, but first Red Eyes Insight to add the Red Eyes Fusion. Um, Red Eyes li uh, Lightning effect to get rid of all of them and chaining the finish chain to the zombie skull so that so that his zombie type monster can be destroyed by card effect. He's got the Canidia, but it's not enough because I can just chain the Red of Red Eyes to summon another uh, Archivino Lightning, just swing in with both, and that's how you do it, my boys. There you go. 
last but not least sorry for the uh, low amount of replays but actually guys it was so uh, busy uh, because I have my I had to do all the stuff that I had for my week uh, my holiday week so uh, I uh, I've, of course I've planned triple videos that you will see um, this is actually this is the last video of the week maybe yes this is this is the last video of the week of the holiday week so i'm gonna be, i'm gonna be back the next sunday after this video is out so let's see what we got supreme council revelation setting an avian first and then red eyes fusion into red eyes slash dragon it was kind of a fun duel because my opponent was playing as you can see in a moment artifact so pretty nice right triple set but because it's artifact we know that these are not all uh, trap card so red dice last dragon effect bahira in my in my battle phase and now with bahira he can pop all of those but first he decided to use double saigon to get rid of my back row then keep in mind guys that artifacts come in come in play when they get destroyed as uh, when get they get destroyed and they were they weren't taken into account as set card set spell and drop so uh they get destroyed when they when they are in these zones and they get to be summoned and they use their effect that's the thing so um caduceus to draw a card and a shield shield that um actually saved him because when he when this card is special summoned during your opponent's turn your opponent cannot target Octifa cards for attacks so then it went to went in Volcanoceros, used the effect, but I negated that with my Red Dice Slash Dragons effect. Uh, so we're chilling, and then he's got the Glow Up Bulb into Archfiend Cult. It now it's not over because Glow Up Bulb from the Graves effect to be summoned again. Black Rose Dragon to swipe the field, to clear the field. And what I'm gonna do now, Red Eyes inside to go into the uh, Red Eyes Fusion, but we do not have a warrior because both Avian and uh, Wild Art are here. So we cannot do a thing, just uh, you know, to set Finish Chain um, and uh, another red eyes inside this time to add the return of red eyes is still useless though because as long as we do not control a red eyes monster we cannot do a thing and last but not least the dark exil fusion the only card we need right now is necro fusion we play three of them and one is in the gray so we have now 33 percent chance of drawing nothing double second to get rid of the return of red eyes correct choice but for us because now we get to summon the red eye slash back on the field this got the field field knight actually what's the name field note so uh then he's winging but you know we do not care because we are definitely in uh, an advantaged position with necrofusion now even more uh, we can just attack with the red eye slash dragon necrofusion in the end phase to summon dog Cavalry, just in case he has something here. I was afraid of the drowning mirror force, that's why I put this in defense. And I was wrong because he has no drowning mirror force, but he had to pop all of those. I decided to stop it with my finish chain, so no pop for you, sir. I'm sorry. And uh, that's just it. I can negate everything I want. I've got a negation with the slash dragon, negation and three double negation with cavalry. I swing in. He is testing a draw, but he didn't pick anything. Maybe there was anything good to do something against against these big boys. So, guys, that was all for the replays. I know there are just three. Unfortunately, this is the time that I have uh, at my disposal. So, I hope you enjoyed this anyway. Enjoyed all the replays and the commentary. Of course, feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.